All right, welcome back to Good Morning, Bill. We are right here on the patio at Hovey and Harrison, Gretchen Hovey and her daughter Scotty. Hanging out with us this morning. How's everything? Hi, good morning. So good. How are you today? We're great. Summer's here in full swing. You got your beautiful little daughter hanging out, eating. I know. They called them. What did you call them? Bagel seeds. I, bagel seeds. <laughs> I know. Cheerios, actually. They called them bagel seeds. <laughs> so, Gretchen, let's let everybody know what Hobie and Harrison is if they're tuning in for the first time. Absolutely. And then we're going to get into your... Um, the farms that you work with and the amazing stuff you do on that in that respect. Yeah, that's a huge part of our business. So Hobie and Harrison is kind of a combo of a couple businesses that were established and came together under one roof, one of which was Ripe, a produce market and distribution company. We've now, been, was that what you were doing while Molly my, was? Okay, that yep, was your little baby. That was my business. Molly was doing uh, kind of the bread, and then we were both doing private cooking around the valley. Um, so we, we combined efforts, but the local produce is still such a huge part of our business and still what we're doing. Uh, we've worked with small farms for the last eight years, uh, driving around mainly the Western Slope, Palisade area. Um, we pick up from all of our growers, so they're able to really focus on growing. They make a great living. They don't have to worry about the distribution aspect. They just get to grow. So how does that relationship, like how do you make that relationship? Do you... You drive around and knock on doors, look at for farm stands. I mean, how does it? It kind of started that way. And you way, say, hey, yeah. We, yeah. I mean, how does that? How does it work? It was like so. In the beginning, when we started, it was really just something we wanted access to. Uh, my husband and I. You know, he was he was healing from an injury. He wanted good, clean food, and I was you know I was doing private cooking for people, so I wanted access to it. And we thought maybe other people will too. So we yeah we literally just went down to Palisade and started knocking on doors and cold calling, and we yeah. ended up. As such an amazing team of growers. Well, now probably also, I mean, within that within that farming community, you're good. Within that farming community, Gretchen, you, they probably communicate and they say, hey, you know what? These guys at Hobie and Harrison, they're great. Maybe give them a reach out if you have something you want to share. Like, yeah. is each of this, each, everything here from, from different farms? Yes. Um, okay. Right now, you know, when we're really going, we, we're working with probably 10 small farms. We actually even work with some right up here in Edwards, like the Knapp Ranch, um, way oh, high nice. up in Lake Creek. Nice. Yeah, they do an amazing job. So what um, do you get from the Knapp Ranch? Lots of greens, anything okay. that does well growing in cold weather. They actually, they don't quite have stuff ready yet. Um, we do have some microgreens from them right now. Okay. Um, but the bulk of their stuff, like greens, potatoes, carrots, stuff that does really well in the cold weather. Um, and then we get our kind of hot weather items down in the Palisade area. So that's, you know, tomatoes, peaches, sweet corn, all that stuff that I've, I think we could just sell tomatoes, peaches, and corn, and, like, people would be happy. And <laughs> when are the peaches going to be... The Palisade, the famous Palisade peaches, are they getting close yet or you don't they're know? They're getting close. Yeah, they're looking really good this year. We always do a big push to get peaches by the 4th of July. Not that we have anything to say about it. Just, right. you know, whatever the weather fingers does. Fingers crossed. But, yeah, then, there's always fingers crossed for peaches and corn at the fourth of, or for the 4th of July. Um, but then, you know, the peaches, they get really good. Like August and September, those are like Does Molly just love working with them and just she preparing little it. wonderful th I, bet. I bet. Yeah, we do. You know, so we highlight, um, we use all... Not only do we sell the produce here at our shop, but we also use it in all of our cooking. Um, we really, truly try to be as farm to table as possible. Not, not just because it's trendy, but because it tastes better. Um, we've right. got, yeah, so we'll highlight, we'll highlight the produce and some of our pastries, you know, tomatoes and quiches, and then everything else, great salads, and just our menu changes all the time to highlight what we have. So let's mention real fast, Friday Afternoon Club. You've done two of them so far. How did yeah. the, how was it turn out last week? See, it's oh building a little bit more each week, right? Yes, last week was bumping. We we were so happy. I mean, the crowd is dancing. The band was hip shaking, just like they promised. Um, the food was great. I, I don't know. I think everyone had a good time. I had a good time. So careful what you wish for now, because this is going to continue <laughs> to grow, grow, and grow. I hope. But so. and it should. I think that's great. These glass doors open right up. You have full Absolutely. access. Indoor, outdoor, I know, I love, I think, you know, I love this space for that reason, that we can open these doors yeah. and it just flows. Sorry. It makes it even that much bigger. You're good. <laughs> okay, Gretchen, Hovey, Molly Harrison is inside. Hovey and Harrison located right in the Edwards Quarter, right at the intersection. you got to stop by. Have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner, have FAC. Bring the kids, yeah. get some monkey bread, get some of the yummy bread, and uh, come by all the time. All the time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, we have more of the show coming up. Look at that weather forecast and a little bit more. Good morning, Bill, after the break.